Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. My apologies for yesterday. Something was wrong with the uploading. I don't, the video kept getting cut off. So if you're seeing this now, obviously it's working again. So let's get into your reading. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As always, some messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading link is in the description box below also. Okay, so you're starting here with coffee cup. Okay, meeting and conversing, saving the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So it looks like there's some type of meeting happening this month with someone over coffee. Okay, this could be romantic, right? It could also be um, business. Yes, I am wearing gloves, full, full on gloves, because I need to get my nails break, you guys. So if you're like, what's going on there? That's what's going on. So yeah, definitely meeting someone, conversing, having coffee. Oh my gosh, you've got Cupid's arrows. Having faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. Yeah, so there you go. Somebody wants to meet you. You might get asked out or, at, or just maybe asked to meet for coffee. Uh, it looks really positive. This is like new love situation happening here. Uh, surprise like it could be a surprise somebody asking you out um, somebody might have been a little hesitant to do this uh, or just I mean hesitant like should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I it could be you asking someone out as well to have coffee or go for it feels like meeting somebody new this is it feels like meeting somebody new okay let's take a look and see so we're in September, we're actually at the end of September, going into October. So we're going to look at the next 30 days, okay, just to give you a little more clarity. So let's take a look and see who this might be, what the energies will be, if you know this person, if you don't. Show Virgo what Virgo needs to know here, okay. So you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like this might be somebody that you, um, maybe you work with. Um, it could be connected to family um maybe like a family business or something like that i feel like um it's connected yeah there's like business it feels like business some some connection it's like a business connection can but it's involving like so i do feel like you know them okay so could it be a friend yeah sure but I do feel like you know them and they're connected to your family or people that you call your family. Do you know what I mean? Um, it could be somebody, they may live in, like, why can't I talk? What's going on? They may live at a distance, but like maybe you guys just, you know how like you have certain friends or a group of people maybe that you went to college with or that you knew like in high school, um, or just people that you call like your like you have your work family it's it's connected to money it's connected to money somehow okay let's take a look let me see um so i feel like this is somebody who is i'm just hearing this is a single this person is single and they might be a grandparent okay or they might have grandkids or a grandchild or a new grandbaby um, they might have gray hair or grayish hair. Okay, maybe even a dog. <laughs> Let's take a look. What else? My gosh, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. So there's definitely an invitation here. Wow, Virgo. You're meeting somebody new. I could tell you that. Like, or it's just like a new first date kind of thing. Hmm. Let me see. They own a business. This person owns a business and they are well established in their business or they have been for like a long time they might even be retired from this business let me see you might actually go into their business like for example um maybe they they have like an accounting firm or it's something like you know you go into their business to uh use their service or services or there's like a, you get like something in the mail this is interesting. I feel like it's um like a Hallmark movie. You get something in the mail and it's like, hey, here's a coupon. Come in and get your teeth cleaned. And then you go in <laughs> and it's like, wow, okay. So you get somehow, some way, 
this leads to something more okay it leads to a love situation this is actually super super cute it feels unexpected okay tell tell virgo the rest of this story please okay um <laughs> You have the five of wands reversed. So they're giving me an energy of a problem gets resolved. That's why I get this sense that whoever you're connecting with here, like you're going into either their business, you're going into somehow solve some kind of issue or a problem. For example, like, I don't know. They're just showing me like, Maybe you have like a broken tooth. <laughs> it's like, why are they giving me dentist vibes? I don't get it. Or you need to fix something on some paperwork. You know, like, like, and you need their service. They help you with something. And it's like some kind of kismet situation or something blooms here. Now this, for some of you, this might have already happened. I think this is the cutest story ever. Let me see here. Like, whatever the problem is that draws you to go and get something done or something taken care of by somebody else's service love strikes sparks sparks happen sparks happen okay and i know that these things do happen because this happened to me once where i went to the dentist to get my tooth worked on he was like hey you want to go out for coffee sometimes I was just like this is awkward but yeah, here you go. Okay, so it could be, for some of you, it could be a cancer. Um, oh my God. They just keep giving me these damn dentist vibes or surgical, I don't know. Something's, I don't know. Maybe for somebody here, it's real strong. But you've got the chariot. Okay, so you're driving to this place. I'm telling you, they're like, I, I can see you guys now. Like you're gonna go, I don't know go get some kind of service medical financial service something and you got your eyes peeled like oh, okay who's asking me out maybe it's like you go get your vehicle serviced for some of you something happens like a family automotive or something okay you've got so the chariot yeah there is something here with movement action and change i'm telling you virgo there is a love thing that happens <laughs> this could be your person if you're, if you're that one who's like, I'm not even looking for it, this is when it happens. Somebody just shows up, comes into your life. Here's the whole new love thing happens. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful reading. This is a beautiful reading. When you're not looking for love or trying to make love or trying to, you know what I mean? Make that happen. It's, it's, that's always when it happens. I mean, just putting yourself out there, but you're not chasing anything or anyone. It's, and it's the same for the other person. I don't see two people here. Like, it's almost like an accidental meeting. Happenstance situation. Okay. Something that I feel like you have to pay for. Now, this could be reverse. Somebody be, could be contacting you for a service. All right, Virgo. And, and it happens. The same way okay first court card you do have the queen of wands so it could be a fire sign leo sagittarius or an aries masculine or feminine oh my gosh six of cups soulmate energy here definitely soulmate energy so this is for some of you you knew this person before you know how like you can know someone for a really long time or you go to like a place for a really long time and then, I don't know, things just shift. When Cupid's arrow strikes, it strikes when it wants to strike, not when you want it to strike, right? And it's all a timing thing. So some of you might have known each other when you were younger or there's children involved in this situation or there's connection to your siblings in regards to the situation. Um, but again, there's a little bit here of like something about memories creating new memories for some of you like i said you already know who this is you could have a connection to them through maybe your children or your grandchildren or they have kids or you have kids or you know there, there's children there's a connection here to that and to the past all right a little bit of that okay you also have the king of cups here so for some of you this is someone who they could be a water sign but there's also someone who's very mature 
in the upright, um, very uh, like they're empathetic, tolerant, compassionate. Um, they don't really wear their emotions on their sleeves, but they're sensitive. Yes. Okay. And somebody here, there's a connection to a beach or an ocean. And for others, I'm seeing a connection to like hot, arid, dry land. So you could live in those places or they could. Okay. What else does Virgo need to know for this reading? It's so cute. Okay. Wow, you've got the Ace of Swords. Here you go. For some of you, this is surgery. This is some connection to a surgical procedure. So if you're going to be having surgery soon or you're thinking about it, um, some connection there. I'm just hearing the name. Well, they're giving me the name Tony or Antonia or Anthony. I'm hearing Tony. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up a flashlight. They're giving me like a, fl a flashlight, maybe and something very, there's a very reflective energy here, which is not usually something of the Ace of Swords. This does represent, okay, it can represent crown victory. So maybe somebody's getting a crown molding or a crown put on their tooth or works in construction and putting up crown molding. Yeah. Okay, you guys. They're giving me some specifics, so bear with me here. Somebody might work in carpentry or, like I said, work in some kind of field where they do something in the mouth, right? Could deal with the teeth, the throat, the ears, the nose, something along those lines. All right. What else? What else? Oh, my gosh, Virgo. Let's see. So you got the lovers. Let's kind of take a look at this lover's energy. Let's see where this is going to go here. Because I feel like it's two people or you and this person are going to fall for each other. Like this is going to be your person. Oh, wow. Are you kidding? So the five of cups in the reverse. Amazing. This is hope. Getting some hope back. This is recovering from a painful loss or grief. Um, I love this energy when we have the five of cups because this is forgiveness. This is moving on. So I feel like the energy here is is that you this person whomever there's an there's like moving on moving forward healing from some kind of loss you also have the four of wands so as far as how this is there's a beautiful foundation um there's telling me foundation being poured like i said somebody could work in construction or building a home or you two will build a home together in the future um from scratch you know log cabin vibes as well i'm picking up log cabin vibes but i see uh for some of you like i said this is a reunion you could connect with this person too there might be like um some kind of a festival or a party or an engagement um family event of some sort but the future looks good here okay because this is the four of wands this is happiness this is commitment this is family it's beautiful energy and the two of wands here so this is partnership um, and I kind of feel like they're giving me the words like inclusion, the word inclusion. So this feels to me like whomever this person is, the energy of your relationship going forward is where you both include each other in each other's lives. You know, it's not going to be like a dictatorship. <laughs> it's not going to be someone who's calling all the shots and the other person has to just fall in line. This is like I'm seeing two people uh considering each other's thoughts and feelings and actions so it's kind of like sitting with someone and that person be like okay well what do you want to do about this virgo how do you feel about this what do you think about this you know it's it's in, they're just giving me this word inclusion um not being left out in the cold that's what inclusion is you know um considering each other's thoughts and feelings and emotions and talking about things and when you're both at a crossroad in the future it's like okay how are we gonna let's figure out how we can get through this together it's a sense of togetherness with the two which is a partnership so it's really nice i really like it so i feel like you definitely have a new love start with someone happening here going forward so this does feel like a new beginning definitely and even with the ace of swords this is like new ideas overcoming any kind of obstacles like it's cutting out all the garbage and everything, wiping the slate clean, having a brand new uh, clean start. Okay. 
so yeah so with the six of cups for some of you this could be a new commitment with someone in the past where it didn't get to that point and you guys might come back together and just sit down and talk over coffee and feel those cupid's arrows and those love that love energy not for all of you you know if you're that person that's like hey okay great i don't want someone from the past just say no hello <laughs> Where did you learn to smoke weed? I did it by watching you. You know what? That's bullshit. Cop out. Just say no. If you don't want to be with somebody from your past, no thank you. And keep it moving. Okay. But for others, you know, um, you might, this might be your story. Okay. So you're just going to have to wait and see how the energy plays out going forward. Um, and for others, you know, I mean, it can both be happening too. You could meet somebody new or agree to accept a coffee meeting with someone or a first date. You could also have somebody from before who wants to try to reconnect with you again. You know, two things. What I've learned in tarot, it's never just one straight line. Two things can happen at the same time. So that's why you have to be open. All right, let's take a look at your messages of love here, Virgo, and see what's going on. <clears throat> what else is going on? Okay, you have intuition. You already know the answer you seek. So, Virgo, if you've been in that place where you're like, you know, I know that this, I know my person's coming. I know they're coming. I know it's just a matter of time. Allow it. You know it. You know that it's happening and it's coming trust yourself and have patience everything unfolds in divine timing virgo so this is really beautiful it's like don't worry everything will work out this is the energy i'm picking up don't worry virgo everything will work out in your highest and best interest there you go true love this love is emotional physical and unconditional i'm telling you you're connecting with your true love in the next 30 days so you better leave me a comment if you already know who this is or if you haven't met this person and you're ready claim it put claim it in the comments take it slow don't rush into anything take time to get to know this person and give them a chance to get to know you too virgo right, let's see what your cosmic insights messages are oh okay we are not yeah okay well you know something i was it's funny because when i was talking a little, just like a couple of minutes ago i was thinking to myself i wonder what the physical attraction aspect is going to look like and um holy moly it, it's going to be off the chain definitely the sexual chemistry between you is going to be beautiful like it's going to be there at least i know somebody like i don't care if it's beautiful it just needs to be there so yeah it's going to be there definitely it's not just going to be, oh, well, you know, we're really compatible, but we're not attracted to each other, but it looks like it'll be a good relationship. No, there's a strong, strong, I mean, the other stuff, yes, is going to be there, but there's a very strong sexual chemistry here with you and this person. Very strong. You're, you're going to be like tongue wagging, drooling on all over each other. Hooray. <laughs> Health issues could arise. <laughs> Some of y'all going to be like, Elizabeth, I'm having a heart attack. Elizabeth, this person is so damn sexy. I'm having a heart attack. I can't take it. <laughs> How is this possible? <laughs> Your heart's going to be skipping beats. Some of you are going to be like, doctor, doctor, I need an EKG. I'm in AFib every time I'm around this person. <laughs> and then you. Now, somebody might have heart health stuff going on as well. I mean, they might, especially if they're kind of like a bit older. There might be like the start of some health stuff, you know, or, or maybe for you, right? Maybe you're getting some heart surgery, you know, and you're laying there and you're about to go under the, the knife there and your doctor's like giving you the heart eyes. You know, you never know. Anything else? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay. So for some of you, there's a water sign involved in this. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be a water sign that you're going to be connecting with here. All right. You also have some challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. You know, Virgo, I'm just going to keep it real. I feel like your challenge here is to accept 
to let someone in to get to know you. <laughs> you know, I, I can honestly say, right, not everybody is for everybody. You know what I mean? And it doesn't always make people like bad people. But I feel like when two people are just so completely incompatible, there's a tendency to want to like say that the other person is this horrible, nasty person, right? Sometimes the wrong people can bring out the worst in us. And sometimes the right ones can bring out the best in us. So I feel like that's why you got to take it slow and be like, is this person, like, are we bringing the best out in each other? Because that's what's got to happen. That's what's got to happen. That's what makes you pretty damn compatible, where you just accept and you just want the other person to thrive. And you're both doing that for each other, right? There's some, and like, so if you're with someone who's not doing that for you, they might be doing it for somebody else. And that might be, you know, relationships are very complex. And that might be because you're not their person. Do you know what I mean? In maybe a particular way. You know what I'm saying? And I think we get to a point in life where it's like, you know what? Let's just call a spade a spade. It just just wasn't, It we just were not compatible, right? And I think it's okay to do that. I think it's okay to just say, instead of holding on to anger or resentment or any issues like that, I think it's okay to just say, you know what? We're not very compatible. We're better off as friends. Let's try to just find a way to just be friendly with each other and nothing else. And And it all depends. Some people are just like, nah, I don't want that. And that's fine. And if that's your case, move on because you do have somebody um, new who's coming in here or someone who's coming in who's ready. Um, there is, I feel like whoever you're moving on from, that person is unavailable. Is a waste. It's a waste of time for you to pursue that relationship. Um, if you've already moved on, that's great because once you move on, go out that door, another door will open for you to go in. We're all just not out here hanging around the hallways. We need to actually walk into rooms. All right, anything else for Virgo to know here? Okay, you do have communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Now, some of you, like I said, this might be someone where you are compatible, but you guys are struggling. Um, the key to overcome the issues is to communicate, which means there needs to be a compromise, not on one side, both sides. Both partners need to forgive and need to f work it out by talking. Okay. So for some of you, I am, you know, I'm not going to leave everybody out. I just want some of you, you know, I know there's some of you who you just want to work so stuff out with someone. And if that's your case, this is the opportunity. I feel like it's going to, you know, the opportunity is going to arrive for that to happen. Okay. But I also feel like there's an opportunity for somebody new meaning somebody new. So, all right, let's look at your Chinese signs. So you're starting with year of the goat. This could be you or the person you're connecting with. Year of the tiger. Year of the rat. Year of the pig. Year of the rabbit. Year of the monkey. Year of the ox. Year of the horse, and they said get one more. Year of the snake. Okay, interesting. All right, Virgo, let's see what your initials and all that good stuff we have here. Okie dokie. All right, so we've got September 14th. Someone is 49. Uh, August 24th. Oops. We had a Q and it turned to the initial P. 55. Ooh, two 55s. What are the odds of that? 55, 55. So 5555 five, five, five might be significant. Maybe you're seeing the number five, which can represent uncertainty in times of challenge. Right? And there are some challenges here. And like I said before, I feel like some of your challenge, Virgo, is to walk into a new room, open yourself up, get let someone get to know you, or take your time to get to know someone else. So we have the initial I. We have Gemini. We have the initial O. You have Virgo, Cancer. 
September 7th, the initial J, there was also an L, August 31st, okay, someone is an Aries or born in April, could be a Taurus, 1983, September 2nd, we have 61, August 29th, 1977, could be age 77, we have a Q again, initial Q, somebody's birthday is in August, you might be in August, um, Virgo, or you could be dealing with another Virgo or a Leo. 1990, the initial D, as in David, Desiree, mm. 37, you have an A, X, Dax, Dax, or Jax, you have the A again, we have 67, 1967 or age 67, September 1st, birthday, 41, Oh, <laughs> S-A-N-E. So they're saying this partner is going to be sane, or you're going to be sane with this partner. <laughs> there's, an, there's an element of, oh, Saki, Saki, Saki. Maybe somebody's, isn't that Japanese? Maybe somebody's Japanese. Tyne, T-Y-N-E. Someone's name is like Tyne. Mm, okay, Ke Keith. Our last name is Keys. Somebody drives a Kia. Somebody's into ska, like ska music. Okay. Um, Joe, George, Georgiana. Joseph. Joanne. I heard I think I heard Joanne yesterday. Interesting. Jada. Pia, um, Arm Armand or Ar Ar Armand, Aaron, maybe it's Aaron, Jax. Did I say that already? I think I did. They're giving me that again. Okay, let's get some charms. See what your charms are here. All right, Virgo. Oh, beautiful. You've got an owl, Virgo. So there's some kind of connection. Let me see if I can, I'll have to hold this up. Like I have to clip it. I don't know if it's gonna hold because I have my camera set a certain way. So you've got an owl here. So there's a connection to owl, to an owl or owls. Maybe you'll see one or see a few owls in a tree. Um, if you see an owl, it's very spiritual message regards to like wisdom. And I'm also picking up like um, a pig. You have a pig. Normally I don't know what that, I, yeah, I remember I didn't know what that was, but it looks like it's like a pig. Maybe a panda, a pig or a panda. There's a snout. I see a snout. Maybe you're born in the year of the pig, Virgo. Okay. You also have, um, so I'm seeing like this black, it looks like a black flower. It's got black petals, but I'm also picking up, um, and it's not showing here, but there's a mirror, like a little round mirror right in the center. You don't see it here, but I just saw it in my mind's eye. So there's something here with like a black, it looks like, it looks like it'd be shaped like it's got petals or something around it with a little mirror in the center. So that might be a decor or something that you have. It doesn't have to be black, it could be any color, but it looks like it's like, like a small little mirror and then it's got like flowers around it or some kind of decoration around it. Okay. And then of course, which you had the other day, is the pink, pink flamingo, okay? So there's some kind of connection to um, a flamingo. I mean, aren't flamingos pink, okay? So there's some kind of connection. I feel like, yeah, you got that again. So that was in the last reading I did, I believe. So you might wanna go back and listen to that. Also, we have the year of the rooster here. So if you're born in the year of the rooster or you and or this person, remember when I call the Chinese signs, it could be you and this person. You could have the same Chinese signs as well. 
okay so keep that in mind all right virgo so that's going to be your message for now i'm going to leave that there for you and luckily happily this video uploaded fully so again if you want to get a personal reading definitely click on the link in the description box book your reading with me and uh yeah we'll see you back here tomorrow all right you guys love you bye go. lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being lied to you made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us mm -hmm.